Okay, so this is the Outlook Tower, or um, uh, I mean, it's, it's now the uh, Camera Obscura and World of Illusions. The Camera Obscura, uh, I'm, I do recommend this place, by the way, but only go on a very, very bright, sunny day. Uh, the Camera Obscura was set up by Maria Short, um, you know, when she first opened this place as a tourist attraction, and it's still going strong. <laughs> so uh, I think it's, a, it's probably one of the earliest tourist attractions in Edinburgh, even before Greyfriars Bobby. <laughs> uh, so, um, and it is st it's still very good. You can, uh, you know, uh, the camera obscura sort of projects the city streets. You can see Princes Street and all the buses going along. It's on this table in front of you, you know, it's, it's very good. And also the, uh, the museum now is quite good. It's all to do with optics and illusions and so on. Um, but after Maria Short died, I mean, it sort of fell into um, disuse, uh, and it was later um, refurbished by a man called Patrick Geddes. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Patrick Geddes, but a very, very famous man, although he ought to be more famous. Uh, he started out as a, a biologist, as an evolutionist, wrote a book called The Evolution of Sex, which uh, caused a bit of a scandal at the time. You know, this is in the 1880s. Um, so he started out in biology, but he, he then moved into effectively sociology or sort of, you know, the beginnings of sociology because he, he wanted to transfer evolutionary ideas to human beings, but not just as, as biological creatures, but as social creatures, you know, and, and talk about the evolution of society and so on. He also became a, a very early pioneer in ecology and, you know, sort of green issues. And in particular, uh, what he did was, well, I mean, this area around here at, um, at the end of the 19th century were all slums, you know, really very, very bad housing. Uh, and the first thing he did was he bought one of the houses in Ramsey Gardens because the, the um, city fathers, in their wisdom, were going to pull all these slums down. And uh, um, Patrick Geddes bought Ramsey Gardens and started to do it up. And then he bought this and started to do it up. And then he persuaded uh, the city fathers. He had this idea about, you know, how... And again, it was coming from his ideas in sociology about how societies work and so on. And he said it's much better to do conservative uh, surgery, is what he called it, conservative surgery, rather than wholesale demolition. And so... A lot of the buildings along here, which are sort of now medieval buildings, in particular, in particular Milne's Court, which is now, some of you may live there, I don't know, it's a hall of residence for students uh, owned by the university, and Geddes persuaded the university to buy that for the use of students. Um, in those days, there were no uh, student residences, you know, in Edinburgh, you know, so that was the first one. Uh, and it was a slum, but they, they did it up, and it's now a lovely place, you know. Uh, and so all of this area sort of uh, is now a big tourist attraction because of all these old buildings, but uh, they were all going to be put flattened, you know, in the, at the end of the 19th century, and it was Patrick Geddes who stopped them, you know, so. And we're now going to go down Patrick Geddes' steps back to uh, the uh, grass market.